taking the fight to Al Qaeda in Afghanistan and Pakistan. This is a war we have to win. We need more troops, more helicopters, more satellites, more predator drones. Defense cuts that I believe would do real damage to our security. We have a situation now to bring justice on a terrorist who has killed Americans. Free speech is a great idea, but we're in a war. Maximum covert operations uh, to block and disrupt the Iranian program. Never point a gun at somebody unless you're well ready to pull a trigger. Bahrain is a long-standing partner, and we are committed to its security. The death of al is a tribute to our intelligence community and to the efforts of Yemen and its security forces who have worked closely with the United States. President Obama has ordered American forces into another war zone, Central Africa. More than 2,000 American troops are heading to Australia. It's about asserting our own position as a Pacific power. If you're an American citizen and you betray your country, you're going to be held in military custody. You're not going to be given a lawyer. There is no bar to this nation's holding one of its own citizens as an enemy combatant. And this deal was rejected by the Bush administration, but nonetheless it was approved more recently by the Obama administration, who went on to win, of course, the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, he's the worst warmonger of all. He's doubled down on uh, every one of Bush's bad moves. Almost 170 children have been killed by, by these drone attacks. We are sending out our mechanized killer drones uh, in Somalia. We've been bombing Yemen. In fact, Amnesty International uh, showed the cluster bomb units and still duds laying on the ground waiting to kill more innocent people. This is just one report in a field of many describing uh, such profligate waste uh, in the American Empire. We backed the dictatorship in Tunisia and in Egypt and in Yemen and in Bahrain, but somehow our government is on the side of the people in Libya. I think they've already gone well beyond the UN mandate of establishing a no-fly zone and they're already uh, moving into an inexorable march toward regime change. We have yet to see a humanitarian intervention that doesn't cause death. During the Bush administration and into the Obama administration, the United States has been waging a covert war of cyber terrorism, commercial sabotage, and targeted assassinations of Iranian nuclear scientists. There's a name for that. It's called international terrorism. Despite the media reports that are pro-war, despite the saber-rattling by politicians, all 16 American intelligence agencies agreed back in 2007 that the Iranians aren't making nuclear weapons, but the U.S. is running their own brutal war in Afghanistan. Colonialism occupation creates terrorism. You know what? This has all the ingredients of a prolonged military quagmire. The government has already assumed that they have the power to detain U.S. citizens indefinitely without trial. We've become so warlike and so obsessed with nationalism and with our military that we can't actually see what is good for our country. And what is good for our country is peace and prosperity, not an empire.